Hello. Yeah, check it out, everybody. I finally got a standing desk now. How cool is that? I wanted to start things off on a more positive note because this video is going to be a little bit more in depth and personal compared to my other videos, where instead of reacting to a terrible video or a terrible film, or instead of looking at strange or scary websites, instead, it's going to be focused more on me. Yes, I know. I'm a narcissist. Okay, no, no, it's not like that. I actually wanted to talk about more about my personal life, which is something that I have a very rare experience of getting to do. So honestly, I have to thank you all for giving me this opportunity by voting for this video on the polls that I have on my community page. Seriously, I'm very grateful that a lot of you voted for that. So for the past few weeks, actually months, actually years, I have been making some of the worst health decisions in my life, the ones that a bunch of Bozell brain rot TikTok users would choose, where I would just endlessly scroll through stuff that intentionally angers me, buying crap from the TikTok shop in Timu that I don't need, and also scrolling through Twitter endlessly because I'm bored. I'm pretty certain that literally everybody on this fucking planet that owns a phone does the same thing, and honestly, I was getting sick of it. I'm literally wasting my youthful life at the moment from doing this. The fact that I spend more time on Twitter than I do actually doing productive shit is genuinely terrifying to me. And I know that a lot of those posts that are on social media, they're like, oh, phones are controlling society. Phones are an addiction. <laughs> we live in a society. Those kind of art pieces that everybody makes fun of a Twitter, let's be honest they're kind of telling the truth. I have actually been genuinely miserable from being so clinically online. <laughs> and it's been tearing my life kind of apart for a good while now. And I think it was right up to my 22nd birthday back in June that I wanted to finally make a change. I wanted to change everything with how I have been handling with life in general. My choices I've been making on the internet, my choices I've been making on social media, my choices I've been making with my food and my weight and what I've been doing with my activities, etc. So what I wanted to do for this video is share everything that I've currently been doing in my life so far in order to change it for the better. The things I've been doing, the choices I've been making, uh, the apps and extensions I've been using. Yes, I, I know, ironic, but seriously, the things I've been choosing in order to make things just a little bit easier for me in this current day and age where everything's a hellhole and there's so much discourse everywhere. I'm only wanting to make a video about it because all the other videos I've seen on similar subjects are honestly very, very pretentious. So I wanted to give my own twist on them by giving my own perspective as to how I'm doing things. And also, obviously, this video isn't going to be as humorous as my other videos. So if you want something like that, I'm very certain the Pyro Life channel has something for you. I'm sure there's some good slop over there. It's all roses. It's tough. It's okay, tough. he's mentioning he's mentioning the gifts once. It's okay, lion, now no, begging, lion, begging, lion, begging, lion, lion, begging, lion. begging. Six instances of yes, begging. Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. He's chewing the gum. He's chewing the gum. This is good. Yes. Actually, tell you what. Here, let me let me dangle some good old car keys that are actually lanky box shorts brain rot that I actually found on YouTube. Oh, you want some of that brain rot? Oh, you want some of that beautiful brain rot? Oh, you want that? You want that, don't you? Well, f*** you. It's actually a keyframe fidget spinner that I bought from seven years ago. By the way, the Google fidget spinner game that I played in my Protogent video from a while back, that game is still up somehow. Why the f*** is Google paying money for that? I'm genuinely wondering why. I'm going to start off with all the physical stuff I've been doing, moving over to the social media stuff, and then the cell phone stuff. I'm going to move all three of them in three different categories. Starting with the first one, I'm finally starting to lose weight. I know this is something that a lot of people like to keep on the private end, not a lot of people want to talk about it, but come on. I make face cam videos, I show stuff with my face before, you already know, I have been dealing with weight issues for quite a while now. In fact, even way before YouTube, I actually had been dealing with a lot of weight issues and I've been wanting to make changes to it. The issue is with life going on and a lot of um, unfortunate circumstances, for some reason, anytime I try to go on any sort of weight loss, I start right back at square zero and it is miserable. Like anytime I take even a little step further into trying to improve myself, some minor inconvenience happens 
and my life is now miserable, and I now gotta go get a pack of Reese's in order to change that. It was sometime after my birthday where I had enough, so I decided to go over to my doctor, I asked them about it, and they recommended me to go on a low-carb diet. Not a ketogenic diet, by the way. I mean, Jesus, 25 to 50 grams of carbs, you're basically starving yourself. Now, instead, they wanted me to go for around 60 to 100 grams of carbs. Now, this is the point where I would recommend people to take this into their own hands. If you want some dietary advice, if you want to change your lifestyle, it's highly recommended that you actually go to your doctor first about it beforehand, because if you're just going to be taking advice from a regular YouTuber like me, even if you trust me with all this kind of information, I promise you, you shouldn't. You should go take this to a professional because it's basically being like on the same level as taking dietary advice from TikTok. I promise you, you'd be better off actually getting this advice from a professional rather than a randomer like me on the internet. So anyway, I decided to finally start a journey on that diet. And at first, like with many, I was very hesitant on it because that would cut out a lot of options that I could eat. But then I thought about it for an additional minute and thought to myself, hey, I could just get creative with this. And this is where one of my biggest advice that I can actually give you will come into play. And my advice is to just start getting into cooking. My God, what are you doing? Because trust me, when you start making things by yourself and you start figuring out certain recipes to get things done, it's actually a really fun experience. For example, one thing that I used to be heavily into was a McDonald's Big Mac. <laughs> Well, cheers. Cheers. However, you can actually create a much healthier version of it thanks to using a tortilla wrap instead of actual bread. Uh, you can keep things like pickles, ch uh, some certain cheese, and meat because none of those have any carbs, and then use lightweight mustard, ketchup, and all that to make the Big Mac sauce. You can basically make your own at home that's a lot healthier and low on carbs. Like I said, you could just go online, do a little bit of research as to what food you want to eat, and there will be a lot of options that you didn't know you could eat. For example, I actually didn't know that pickles basically had nothing in them, so I can eat those. Eggs only have like one gram of carbs, so I can actually eat those kind of commonly. But what would be the purpose of going on a diet if you can't increase your physical activity, which is what I've been doing? One thing that I like to do is going on a half hour walk. There's a path I like to go on to, and I like to go on a half hour walk, and during that, that gives me time to relax, or listen to music, or calming music, or energetic music, whatnot, things that are of my interest or listen to a podcast or whatnot or get my ideas going for videos or music or whatnot oh my god i just realized i told my fans to touch grass that's honestly the funniest thing ever. If you can, just try to find other alternatives to what you do. For example, I like to be on my computer a lot, and especially when it comes to making videos. So what I decided to do was finally get myself a standing desk. Sorry, this is standing desk. You can find plenty of options on Amazon, though a lot of them are very cheap. So do your own research as to what would be the best option for you. This one, whenever I move my mouse, Earthquake. Yep, we're, we're having, having an earthquake. earthquake. There's a lot of wobble, but if I'm just standing here and just recording and talking, it's not that noticeable. And if you're like me and you're a big f***ing dweeb that owns a Nintendo Wii that's homebrewed, then I would definitely recommend getting a Wii Balance Board and a copy of Wii Fit Plus. Uh, don't spend too much money on that. Obviously, that's not what the point of this is for. Just try to see if you can find one around whenever possible, and then I, I'd say just give it a shot. You might have a blast with it. I bet you already have one in your closet or on your bed. Don't lie to me. I'm in your closet right now. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, I'm actually not the first commentary YouTuber to talk about wanting to lose weight and be more active. Uh, years ago, Nullfuckers already did a video about how he managed to lose weight, and there's some pretty useful advice in there, so I'd recommend you go check out that video. I'll put it in the description below. The next part is going to be focused on lowering my social media activity and increasing my productivity when going online. I'm not even going to lie, this thing has been long overdue because I have just been uh, uh, so depressed being on Twitter, honestly. And I feel like that depression has just gotten even worse ever since 
<laughs> decided to overtake it and turn the bird into a fucking letter. It's just led to a bunch of leeches and disgusting people being available on this platform. And on top of that, it has turned Twitter into a monetary status platform thanks to the fact that there's a premium uh, service where if you pay for it, you are able to make money off of posting tweets. So that enables a lot of bots to be able to farm off of them and make only about like 10 cents a day off of it. Again, that's something I've already talked about in my dead internet theory video, but honestly, it's been a an absolute hellhole over there. And to make things worse, there's just a bunch of assholes on Twitter now. I don't know what the f*** is going on, but there are some of the rudest people I've ever seen on this platform just absolutely overtaking it. I think my final straw for Twitter, and this is going to get a little bit emotional, so a little bit of a trigger warning, this is going to involve a mention of suicide. An 18-year-old teen by the name of Fallen Chungus, who you might know of for some of his really funny meme comics that you've seen throughout social media. He was basically belittled into taking his own life after he had posted some really out of context tweets that put him into a really bad light. And I just kept seeing nothing but post after post after post of people just supporting him trying to knit his life and making jokes about it. And whenever he was found alive and well and playing a game with his friends, so meaning he thankfully didn't take his life, people were like, oh, he was just online a few hours ago. Like, are you wanting him to take his life? You fucking dipshits. But yeah, the fact that we are now at a point in time where people are okay with driving people into doing things like that, it's, well, say it with me now, miserable. So I, I'm done with Twitter, honestly. But here's the issue, though. Twitter just unfortunately happens to be the best platform where you can talk to your fans and post statuses about your videos and merch and all that. And to make things worse, I actually have a lot of YouTuber moots that are following me on there right now. So it makes it even harder to try to get off of there. So instead of just trying to get off of there, I try to minimize my use for it as much as possible. In fact, as of me posting this video, probably beforehand since I made an announcement tweet probably, my last time posting on there was on June 23rd. So, How'd I do it? Well, for one thing, I started muting out a bunch of words that I thought would, you know, create discourse on my side of the internet. So I just muted out a bunch of words that I thought would kind of push me into wanting to post a tweet talking about it rather than posting productive sh like, you know, what the upcoming video would be about, the thumbnail for the video, and also the announcement for when the video comes out. I'll also put a link in the description below, an entire GitHub page that's dedicated to words that are recommended to be muted. I promise you, it it is worth all the time and energy into doing it. it. It's worth it, I promise. And also, I have this extension on my browser that's called Minimal Theme for Twitter slash X. And what it does is it reduces even more of the ridiculousness that is on that platform, including the For You page and also the trending page and also minimizing other things. But one of my favorite things is it has a Zen Writer mode, which means when you open up the page, it'll only give you the page where you make your tweet. And that's it. It's a very nice tool and I honestly really like it. And as for the mobile version, I am using an app to reduce my time being on there, but I'll get to that later when I get to talking about my phone. And as for YouTube, I decided to try to get rid of my YouTube premium subscription. Yes, I had a premium subscription. It's mainly because it's super convenient because, you know, I can turn off my screen and still play the music, which I don't know why that is a premium limited thing, but whatever. But as YouTube started to get greedier and greedier when it comes comes to adblock and now threatening other platforms that support the ability to be able to watch YouTube without ads, that's when I decided to cut them off. If you're gonna do corporate sh you better expect some backlash. So, of course, I got uBlock Origin. I mean, everybody should, why not? But I also have an extension called Unhook, and what that does is it reduces all of the distracting stuff that might be on your YouTube experience, whether that is the subscri uh, subscriptions page, or the For You page, or the training page, or anything regarding YouTube Shorts, or the recommendation section, or even the live comments if you wanted to. That extension has basically been a lifesaver for me. So I'm 
I'm also trying out the arrow right now. And while that's pretty cool, it is a little weird seeing a YouTube without all the custom thumbnails and the video titles uh, being all clickbaity because I'm not even gonna lie. I've just gotten used to it because I've been on YouTube since I was a child. So it's so weird seeing this version of YouTube without it. Also, thankfully for both Twitter and YouTube, there's also extensions where you can make them look like the older versions of them. So I highly recommend you download them if you prefer those, honestly. In fact, you might have already seen in my hour drawings video that I had these extensions on. I actually really like them. Some of the things that I got going on is Rise, which is like a focusing thing, which I, I use because I'm part of their partnership program. Although you can use it for free if you wanted to. The only thing that is needed to be paid is all of the live music channels and stuff like that. Thankfully, those aren't necessary to use Rise to its main purpose. Yeah, honestly, smartphones have a bad reputation in and of themselves in regards to how addicted we are to them, how reliable we are with them, and what we do with them, and the social media platforms that we use on there as well. It's just a whole other can of worms. And of course, I've tried everything, like set notifications for things that I want to do, uh, try to reduce my screen time using the uh, built-in screen reducer, but honestly, nothing has worked. But thankfully, there is one application that iOS and Android has to be able to reduce your screen time that has actually been very helpful for me. Screen Zen. So what Screen Zen is, it is a, well, as obviously stated, a screen reducer app where you could select a bunch of different apps dedicated to a certain act a uh, certain group or different applications like particular applications and then have a pause on them so when you try to unlock them it has a certain amount of time in order to be able to unlock it and then you can also have it set to increase that time whenever you keep trying to open it you can also give it a message like why am i checking wait until monday take a deep breath or you can write your own you can also have it set so it limits the amount of times you open it per day but i like sometimes having it to staying aware about it and then you can limit the amount of time that you're given whenever it unlocks. And that has honestly helped me reduce the amount of time that I'm on the mobile version of Twitter because I keep opening up the desktop version on my browser. It helps me reduce it from opening up a few times to basically not opening it at all these past few days. By the way, uh, Drew Gooden was actually the person that helped me find uh, this application. And if you want to watch his video in regards to doing a dopamine fast, once again, as for using YouTube on my phone, uh, you can use a couple of different clients, but one of them that I've tried using was Invidious, which is a very popular YouTube front end. I've been using that for a while and it allows you to be able to watch YouTube without ads and also be able to play them without having to have your screen on. But finally, let's get to the last bit my home screen. So this is my screen right here. Obviously, that is not my location. I don't live in Spain. I live in America. But the only reason I have it is because it says penis cola. And it's also 69 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And I think that's pretty funny. A lot of it is pretty self-explanatory. Yes, I know I still have YouTube on there, but I want to get rid of it someday because I finally canceled my subscription. I do use Notion. Sometimes I've used Google Docs and also the Apple Notes app to, to write scripts. But honestly, Notion has been pretty fun. Any other other essential stuff I will have on the top screen like the settings app because I, I have that hidden away from my home screen and on the side there will be some other stuff like the fitness uh, the podcasts um, my energy basis from my city all the things that are currently charging at the moment etc so that's basically everything that I have here now I have also tried things like blank spaces which basically turns your phone into a dumb phone and instead of showing icons on your screen to tap on them instead it's words and while it was pretty cool i don't think it is worth the 23 dollars it is absolutely ridiculous now i could give you an entire list of apps that you can use in order to make your life just a little easier but honestly there's so many of them out there and there's so many different kinds so i can't really fit them all into one video and on top of that my list will probably change here and there depending on the apps that i discovered down the line so i can't really keep this thing consistent in one time so i'm gonna go over the 
ones that I currently use at the moment, one of them being How We Feel, which is a mood tracker where you just check in uh, around certain times of the day in regards to how you're feeling. And there's so many different words to choose on how you're feeling. Um, they also have like um, a list of uh, different activities to do, like breathing exercises, movements, reading quotes, mindfulness activities. But honestly, one of my favorite activities on this app is Burn the Negative, where you literally write down all of your most negative thoughts about you and literally burn it as your phone vibrates. It creates this burn illusion. It's super fun and I like it. There's Goblin Tools, which is honestly something that a lot of people might be peculiar with because it's kind of like a chat GPT AI thing and I don't really want to get into that. But this is the only time where it's actually pretty beneficial for somebody. Basically, what you do is you write whatever you want to do for the day and you can set the level of steps that you want it to write in order to be able to get that activity done. It's honestly pretty fun. I think it's neat. Not something I want to take seriously. Plus, it's a one-time purchase, so that's neat. Secret Cat Forest and Starlight. Both of them are games in which you could play throughout just spots of the day whenever you, there's a little bit of downtime. And what they are, they're games where you basically take care of an area. For example, a house with cats coming in or a forest with a bunch of cute little bugs and uh, moths and all kinds of stuff. And you just let it grow and grow from there. Both of them are games in which you don't have to pay for them uh, but you're able to increase your inventory by either watching ads or do one-time purchases kind of like pokemon go and pikmin but now I want to get into the miscellaneous stuff because there's so much that I could talk about, but I kind of want to limit things. I've been solely also trying to get rid of a spending habit. I mean, you can already tell by my bedroom right now, I do have a spending habit. And while I'm not in any dire financial situation or anything, I'm doing fairly well, if I'm going to be honest, I still want to kick the habit. So I've been trying to do things like getting into hobbies or trying to craft stuff. And one thing that I have been doing in order to reduce it is to get into a hobby like as you can see from here gardening i think it'd be pretty fun not sure how long i'm going to keep the hobby up but honestly i think it'd be a fun interest to get into plus it's pretty low cost and also the last thing that i want to bring up is to just go and find really cool apps and other things in order to get interest in stuff if you want to you know uh keep things interesting for you one website i would recommend that you go on to to find things is fmhy or free media heck yeah which is all dedicated to finding things online or websites that are completely for free. But the final bit of advice that I want to give to people is to just slowly take steps in order to try to improve on habits or get into new hobbies. If you try to just take it in all at once, I promise you, you're going to burn out really fast. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why losing weight is such a problematic thing because people try to jump onto it too fast, kind of like The Biggest Loser, for example. Or um, let's say you're trying to reduce your social media usage and you try to push it to the maximum. Instead, you're just going to double down and increase your usage even more because you missed out on things. Just slowly try to take bits of life-changing things in order to be able to adapt to it. Just take one bit, do it for a while, and then add another, and do that for a while, and I promise you, you will get there eventually. This stuff takes time, and it should not matter how much time you take, or it doesn't matter uh, how long it took for you to be finally able to get into it. I promise you just take one step, just take one tiny step. And if there's an inconvenience or if there's anything that goes wrong, just know that you're still doing good and that you should keep going further no matter what. I promise you, it's not you. Just keep going with it. Now, is this going to affect anything regarding to this channel? <laughs> no, I'm still going to be making commentary videos. I'm still going to be talking about people that need to be discussed or websites that I find interesting or react to stuff. I'm still going to be doing all of that. It's just I'm wanting to change my personal life in order for me to be able to keep on going with this kind of stuff because honestly, having a change in lifestyle that promotes uh, increased productivity and being able to do stuff like this even more it's great and just any step counts honestly so yeah just go for it just just try to do your best 
I wish you the best of luck. I, I wanted to make a video like this for quite a while now. And once again, thank you all for voting uh, for this video on the community page. I honestly was not expecting it because of all the other options I had available, but honestly, I'm more than happy for it. I had a lot to talk about. I just honestly wasn't expecting it. So thank you guys for giving me a rare opportunity. All right, now back to making fun of cringy videos. Beatboxing puppy. Huh? But I want to hear what you think. What are your current life changes that you are wanting to make? And what are you currently doing at the moment in order to do so? Tell me all of that in the comments below. If you're still using those social media platforms like Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or on Discord, then you could submit me uh, suggestions as to what you want me to discuss next. And I'll, p I'll p probably do another community poll in order for you guys to vote on what you want me to discuss next. And if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to hit the like button. And if if you need the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you want to support me even further, then you can go support me via a one-time donation via Ko-Fi or my merch store, which will be in the description below. I'm also wanting to use my membership page a little bit more because it's kind of a little bit uh, abandoned, honestly. So I'm wanting to start posting more freaking updates there, probably do exclusive videos, and I also want to do exclusive live streams where I just chat with people and play games with them. So if you want to go support that then go check out my membership page but yeah with all of that said thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye slam dunk home run back of the net i'm drowning myself so Okay, the hack has been completed.